Hi, welcome to Home Farm. It's the start of the seeding season. We've got two different types of natural fiber pots that we're going to be trying out this year in our vegetable garden. So we've never used these kind of products before. Uh, they're both peat free. Uh, the large ones are from a company called Qua. We bought this from them directly. They're basically made from coconut husks. And the small ones are wood fiber, and we bought these off Amazon. So because these are completely biodegradable, they're obviously plastic free. Uh, so what we'll be doing is we're gonna fill them with soil. We'll put the seeds in, the seedlings will sprout. Uh, when the time comes, we'll go down to the vegetable garden. This will go straight in the ground, which means that there's no need to repot or retransplant any of the actual seedlings. So we've got two sizes. We've got the small six centimeter and the large 15 centimeter. And the reason that we've got two sizes is because I'll be growing things like uh, tomatoes uh, in the larger pots. Tomatoes hate being moved and they're not particularly great at that. So, you know, we want to establish the biggest possible plant that we can in these. And the smaller ones I'm gonna be using for things like leeks uh, because they're just, again, quite small. They don't have to be hugely big when you actually put them into the ground. So that's a wrap. If it's a bit echoey, I'm actually sitting inside a converted barn, which we use as a studio. Uh, we also use it as an area to actually grow our seedlings in. We've got these uh, floor to ceiling windows, so it does get quite warm in here, uh, which is why it's kind of ideal. We were able to grow a lot of our seedlings last year quite successfully in here, so fingers crossed we're able to do that again this year. So we ended up using 17 of the large quad pots. They are flexible, they were easy to separate, uh, but they are quite sturdy despite their flexibility, uh, so really like those. The smaller wood pulp pots uh, are a little bit more difficult to separate. There were a few that had holes in them, so we had to double those up. They are not as flexible, they're a lot more rigid, uh, but still easy to work with. So we're going to leave these in here now for the next couple of weeks. Uh, we found that it, uh, when you use a watering can, it actually uh, lets way too much water out. So what we're going to be doing is using this pump spray. We bought this one on Amazon. And we found that just basically spraying the tops of the actual soil gets the right amount of moisture into the soil and the right amount of water for our seedlings. Uh, what we also really like is that when the little seedlings start to come out and use the pump spray, it creates a really nice mist and it just gives the right amount of water without them being dripping wet. So now that the seeds are in, we'll probably film an update in a couple of weeks time and let you know whether there was a difference between the qua and the wood pulp pots. So if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on our next video.